All right, bag tracks part two. This one, honestly, I don't remember if I, I know if I check my uh, Instagram, I'll be able to figure it out. I don't know which one. No, 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 no. Natural Born Rebel was definitely written first because that I wrote Natural Born Rebel right after I dropped Bag Tracks Part 1. So, yeah. See, I, at heart, I'm a lyricist, okay? I'm a lyricist, but at the same time, I'm a good artist. So, I'd be like... Bag Tracks Part 2 is a mixtape consisting of a bunch of beats from songs that I used to listen to. You see what I'm saying? Whether I was a little kid, 10 years old, maybe 12, maybe 13, maybe 14, maybe even as little as three years ago, two years ago. A song that was released two years ago and I used to listen to it a lot and now I want to kill the beat and put it on a mixtape and label it backtracks. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole point of that. And I do that for two reasons. One is to show love to the artist. Whatever artist I'm remixing their song, I'm 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 remixing it to let my fans know that I fuck with their music. You see what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons. Like cause honestly I could just write to all original beats and never do a remix in my life and be perfectly fine. Yeah, I could go to a random beat right now and make a make a catchy hook. Like, it's really nothing to me to write original songs. I just, you know, when I hear something I like, if I really like it and I feel like I have a side of my story I can tell on that beat that relates to the original song, yeah, I want to do it because I want to show love to them and I want the world to see how I did it. You see what I'm saying? So that's backtracks. All backtracks is like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I try... I mean, it's not a trying thing. It's just, at first, I wanted it to where there was no ad-libs. Like, no ad-libs at all on none of the bad tracks. But, like, certain songs, it just, it needs it. It makes it, it makes it, it makes it lit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, fuck it. I wanted it to just be all rap. Bars. No ad-libs, no harmonizing, no singing, no nothing. Raw, pure talent. But then I'm like, some of these songs just need it. It doesn't need it. I'm capping. It doesn't need it. Because it's still going to go hard. But, hypes it up. You put some of them ad-libs in there. Like, the Beat It remix, I put the music video out with no ad-libs, but the preview, the promo video, I put it out with no ad-libs, but I got ad-libs. Y'all want to hear them? I got ad-libs for them. I just didn't give the ad-libs to my professional engineer to mix because I got to go through them and pick which ones I'm taking out. I didn't have time to do that that day, you know what I'm saying? But I got ad-libs for that. Look, 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 this is Alice. This world is overwhelming. I mean it, 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 I mean it. No. See how that second voice just gives it that energy? Like, yeah, I could do it without it, but like, come on now. That, that energy, you know what I'm saying? Put that energy in there, you know what I'm saying? Mean it, mean it, mean it, mean it. Like, where the mothers, you need that. You need that for that track, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by like certain songs. I try to keep ad-libs out as much as possible, but if the shit just goes there, I'm going to put it. it. It goes there, you see what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, that's Backtracks Part 2. This one's probably going to be the most simplest one to explain because that's it. Like, it was, it's, it's me showing love and me showing people that I am, I actually can rap. I don't have to make catchy music. But then I'll come with a mixtape to show you I don't have to just rap. I can make catchy music. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, Backtracks is to show love to all the people who came before me that I love and listen to their music. But don't get it fucked up. This is where people get it fucked up. Just because I admire somebody and 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 even look up to their music doesn't mean I value their opinion more than mine, okay? I'm like, this to say, like, I could... This is the type of nigga I am, like... I would be the type of nigga, like... I would tell my favorite rapper, like, yo... You inspire me so much. And I'm not thinking of any one rapper. I had a bunch of favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying in general, if I met any of my favorite rappers, Lil Wayne, fucking uh, A Boogie, Dirk, Meek, anybody, I would be, the, I'm the type of nigga, I would be like, yo, you don't even know how much you inspired me. You don't know how much you motivated me. You don't know how much you got me through. You don't know how much your music meant to me. But that I I definitely want to say like um 
I think I'm the greatest rapper of all time. And I'm not in a disrespectful way. I'm aiming to surpass you. You see? Like, I'm honest. Like, I'm not going to... Some niggas want to, you know, dick ride and act all... No, I'm going to let them know exactly what it is. So they know there has to be a line of respect. Because just because I admire you doesn't mean I'm going to kiss your ass and I'm going to agree with everything you say. You see what I'm saying? That's my point. But anyways, yeah, that's bad trainers.